Hello and welcome. I'm Rose Lasbar. At least I don't think I've actually done a review of this. I remember showing it off on a stream at some point. Tarna. Uh, apparently, the Cosmic Gardener. One shot. So the writing is just kind of like, eh, whatever. What's really nice in here is the art. 100% thumbs up. If nothing else. Just flip through this. Like, your store probably still has, like, one forlorn copy sitting on a shelf somewhere, waiting for an owner. You may not need to buy it, but you should at least flip it open so you can look at the beautiful art of this man right here. Whose last name, I ain't even going to try to pronounce. Because, Lord help me, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Alright, so this is where we open up to. We got, like, Death Robots. Going all Terminator on, like, some little refugees that are just trying to get their kids out, right? Yeah. Now, to make it more ominous, what is the evil villain's base of operation called? And if you went, oh, clearly we're going to put the command station in Terminus City, you're right! Now, this issue's not, like, super... Hmm, how to put it? Super big on getting a uh, plot like that's actually like meaningful and awesome and stuff. It's a one shot, man. What you expect? But it does deliver on really nice visuals. There's just a little bit of thunk provoking, and mostly there's just Tarna being Tarna. Uh, I gotta be careful. There's a couple pages in here I can't show you on YouTube, but uh, I did like the robot design, all nice and chunky, chunky like. They're clearly like humanoid, but they're not rounded off and stuff. I, I kind of like that aesthetic, the nice little chunky death robot. And of course the cover, Tarna in the iconic pose, like how many times have we seen this in movies, right? In fact, I'm pretty sure that's like the exact shape of like the bird from the movie poster right there. Anyway, anyway, let's get into this. Oh, and the actual name of the book, I guess I should, like, get that straight here, is Tarna Elements. So this Cosmic Gardener thing on the front is just, like, a secret subtitle that's unofficial. It's not even an official subtitle. <laughs> Boy, when we get our first uh, look at her... <sighs> I can't even show you the page, never mind. When we get our second look at... Ooh, I can't show you that page either. When we get our third page, third look at her, it's her on the bird. <sighs> I really wish I could have showed you, like, there's this gorgeous face. Here, hold on. We can just, like, cover half the page up with our hands and just kind of, like, roll in here. Because, you know, she'd be, like, in the pool. You know what I'm saying? You've seen heavy metal, I'm sure. So you know exactly what's going on here. But I just love this coming up out of the water. The way her eyes look like that. The hair. Is excelente. Is bueno. Love it. So anyway, there's, like, a disturbance in the force. And she comes in to deal with the disturbance in the forest. And this is where we're going to stop showing you new pages here. Because we get a little bit of Tarna with a sword versus killer death robot action. And it is great stuff. She comes in, rocks the party. She looks great. This is just an awesome sequence. Like, from here, she looks great. Then she just goes around, slice, 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 slice. Very classic comic book stylings. Uh, I got a squeaky chair. Uh, but this is just like something you see in like a Spider-Man book, man, where you got Peter Parker flip, boom, pop, 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 and he just takes out like a whole alleyway full of bad guys in one page, one panel even sometimes. When it's all over, she's like, take me to your leader. And that's when we get into like the, what passes for a plot to this. So she goes like into the underworld and she meets the bad guy. And all that kind of stuff. And a lot of that just kind of... I don't know how to phrase it better. It's just kind of trite. Like, it's there, it exists, it's okay. Honestly, none of it really mattered because this book was just about looking at the cool art. That's my opinion. I bought this book, I got some cool art, and I ended up being pretty satisfied by the cool art. So, that's heavy metal... Uh, Tarna Elements, or whatever the official name of this thing is. Buy it for the cool art, and maybe read it for some of the story stuff, but frankly, you didn't really need to read it for the story stuff. 13.8 billion years ago, the universe burst into existence again. 
Each universe has one guardian that is responsible for protecting and nurturing its growth and health from the death of the last Tarakian. In a collapsed universe, Tarna was born. <sighs> yeah, there you go. And I guess we're getting like a new Tarna series or something. I'm not really sure. Oh, this only costs $2.99, really? Dude. Dude, I didn't realize that. I thought this book cost like $3.99. For $2.99, just go get this and look at the beautiful, beautiful art. Because it is a gorgeous looking book. I'm serious. It looks great. Everything in this book is just like thumbs up the way it looks. You all take care of yourselves. You have a great day, great night, great whatever you got going on. Sure hope to see you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.